So we are shown two main characters in the film. A daughter and a father. Father's name is Ben and his daughter's name is Sarah. She was ill and Ben comes to a hospital with his daughter Sarah. To make her fine. In fact, she has a mental issue. She feels hallucinations. The doctors tell its reason that her mind doesn't work properly. Her brain is not growing. Because of it, Sarah is depressed. And she does sketching also, whatever she sees. Today was the day when there is a CT scan of Sarah in the hospital. But during this, Sarah's condition gets worse. She was shouting as someone is in front of her and she is feeling pain. The light was also getting out of order. It fluctuates. With it, the machine of the CT scan also gets out of order. The smoke comes out of it. Ben instantly takes his daughter out while lifting her up. Sarah was asking for her red crayon, Ben immediately gives her. Sarah starts drawing the circles with the crayon on a page. On another side, Ben was asking the doctor that how my daughter will recover. The doctors tell him that her treatment is very difficult. Her mental state is not fine yet. We can't do the treatment of your daughter, sadly. Ben takes his daughter somewhere else. He was planning that he will take her to another hospital, for her treatment. There he meets a nurse named Emily, Ben discusses everything with her. She also becomes worried. Then they go to an elevator, there was one more man. Meanwhile, a detective comes there with one more man. They were going to the down floor, but the elevator stops. There was darkness. The condition of the man who was with the detective gets worse. From there, they try to contact security, but no response. Meanwhile, the door of the elevator opens and they reach a floor. It was sixth floor. As they come out they see that there is none. It was a deserted place. There was silence. Meanwhile, they hear a voice from a room. When the detective goes and sees, there was a photocopying machine that was working automatically. As he goes near it and touches it, it stops. Emily sees that there were weird x-rays. Those were not relatable with humans. It means all things on this floor were weird. When they move forward they see a lady, she is in a wheelchair. Her back was towards them. They get astonished after seeing her. She was looking pale as she has no blood, someone has taken out her both eyes. It seems terrifying. The marks on her face weren't showing that it is done by a human. They run from there. They were feeling danger here. This time they use the stairs. But as they go there, someone starts firing at the detective. While escaping their lives they come to the fifth floor. Sarah was also with them, she is in a wheelchair. There they find CCTV footage, that is playing on the monitors. They see none in the hospital in the footage. Unexpectedly, they see two mysterious men on the third floor. They think that they need help like us. They are lost and they are not finding their way. They plan to go there but Sarah was nervous there, because she was feeling that there is someone else except them. A spiritual power who is watching them. Meanwhile, a door opens and Sarah goes to the other side of the door. Here no mobile phones were working, but as the door opens their cell phones start working. The radio also turns on. With it, they see a reflection of an evil spirit, it was like a witch. That which was chasing them, but they moved to another floor from there. There was an x-ray machine. One of the men mistakenly turns it on. Due to it, that which moves far from them. And disappears. They all say that as this was our hallucination. An old man among them says that how can we all see the same hallucination. Another man says that my mind is not working. I am going from here, you stay here. As the man goes to the elevator he feels like the earth is moving. He was feeling right. A hand comes out of the earth, he gets scared. He starts screaming and all come there. They try to open the door of the elevator, but that hand holds that man strongly. Somehow Ben and his companions save him, and takes him out with them. The nurse Emily heals his wounds. Meanwhile, they hear a voice, but they couldn't understand that what is he trying to say. With this, they reach the third floor. There Emily sees the dead body of her companion, there was a recorder near the dead body. It plays on the recorder that if you want to save your life so give me the girl. Don't know about whom he was talking about, Emily or Sarah. Meanwhile, the soul comes there. 
the creature whose hand we saw in the elevator. It attacks them. They all run from there except the old man, but the detective died there. Now they all come out. They reach a place from where they can see outside through a window. They feel like there is no movement in the world outside, like the time is freeze. And they are stuck inside. Meanwhile, Emily hears some voices, and she says that no this is not possible. It is my voice when I was speaking from the fourth floor, I think we are in a mirror world, or in another dimension. The words I speak before here are repeating. During this, Sarah's condition gets worse. Ben says to the nurse to come with him, because he needs medicine for his daughter. The young man was with Sarah. While going with Ben, Emily tells him that there must be an issue with his daughter. The drawing she makes is not a normal thing. Do you try to ask her that did she see anything? She may be seeing something that we can't see, or couldn't feel. Now Ben and Emily find the dead bodies on their way. There were also guns with them and they hold the guns. Going forward, they hear some voices from the upper floor. They shoot at that side. It means to the side of the stairs. They shot towards the stairs. They come to know that when they were on the upper floor, and someone was shot towards stairs, that was done by none other them. What is this going on? They also don't know. Passing from there, they come to an emergency room. There they see skeletons. On another side, we see that Sarah again feels something, like there is someone around her. The man who was with Sarah, says to the spirits that take away Sarah, take away this girl with you. But before something happened the old man comes from behind. He stops the young man, that what are you doing? But the young man turns and attacks the old man. His skin was tearing, as he is one of the creatures but good-hearted. The young man without caring about anyone goes to Sarah again. Her wheelchair was moving automatically. Meanwhile, the sand starts blowing there. Due to the storm, nothing was visible. The young man was also behind Sarah. Ben also comes there and here an unexpected thing happens. It is looking dreadful. A creature comes out from the sand storm. It kills the young man who wants to sacrifice Sarah. Before that creature attacks others, Ben attacks it and runs from there. They also see the dead body of the old man. Emily was surprised, that he was alive with us but now his skin is like he is dead for so long. It was possible that he came here to save Sarah, and has died for many days before. Now, Emily, Ben, and Sarah move from there. As they reached the stairs there were many dead bodies, there was no way to go out from there. They become worried. Now they were going to the second floor. But before it, due to the worst condition of Sarah, Ben and Emily start searching for medicine for her. Meanwhile, they notice that Sarah is not with them. A creature comes there and tries to attack Emily. Emily gives it shocks and comes out from there. On the other side, Ben finds a door as he opens it there is light everywhere. There were many people. It seems like this is the real world and they were in another world. Ben calls them and tries to talk to them. But no views, they couldn't see Ben. Ben also couldn't touch anyone. He sends a signal to Emily but she was in another world how will she listen? He says that it will not work like this. He opens the other door and returns to that world. He sees his lovely daughter was in front of him. He becomes happy but sadly, there was one more sandstorm. The evil creature comes out of it, it was about to kill them. One more blessing happens here, the old man again comes there. He saves them. How that old man was coming again and again is an angel. They also couldn't know it. Emily also comes there. Now they were together. They moved to the elevator. The horrible creature of the elevator was again coming to the elevator. But before this, they closed the door. They press the button to go to the first floor. But the elevator takes them to the basement. Meanwhile, Sarah hears some voices, and she puts a hand on her ears and starts shouting. An evil spirit comes there, it was about to attack Emily. Seeing Sarah it runs from there. Then asks Emily to sit with Sarah in the wheelchair, whatever it is I will take you both outside safely. He moves forward. There was a mortuary in front of them. All the dead bodies were revived. Ben wasn't scared. Then Emily tells him that there is a door that opens outside. We shouldn't lose courage, Ben immediately lifts his daughter Sarah. 
He asks Emily to come but the wheelchair of Emily was stuck. As Ben comes outside that door closes. Emily was left inside with the dead bodies. The dead bodies were moving towards Emily. She was scared but Ben couldn't go inside. He instantly makes his daughter sits in the ambulance and moves from there. Meanwhile, Sarah says to her father that he is coming. He is behind us. It happens the same, a shadow was chasing them. The place from where they passed there was darkness. A devil comes out of the darkness, an evil creature who was about to kill them. Ben instantly turns the ambulance and drives it speedily. A sharp light falls into his eyes from the front. He has to stop the ambulance. Ben sees that his daughter was in front of him. She was glowing, Ben comes out after seeing her. Meanwhile, the shadow comes on him and it covers Ben. Sarah says to her father doesn't worry everything will be fine. She turns and says to the shadow that stops it, send me back. Then the light becomes sharper and the scene shifts from where it starts. Sarah's Supreme Court scan was going on. Sarah's father lifts her and takes her outside. This time Sarah asks her father to give her a blue crayon. When she was making the drawing the old man comes to her. He says that now I am feeling good and you will be fine soon. It means Sarah was killed in her imaginations each time, it means these creatures and devils were her own imaginations. It was because of her mental disorder. Now when the old man says to her that she will be fine, and she has saved herself this time. It was a piece of good news, that now Sarah will not see those evil spirits in her imagination. With it, this movie ends here. Thank you so much for watching.